hello welcome back to my channel I'm doing a card reading today and I do apologize about the raspy voice <clears throat> and the nasally tone of speech I'm a little bit sick but given the energies as well as the astrological alignment I decided to come on here and do a card a card reading this card reading is I'm hoping to put out this video <laughs> before the super moon the super moon which occurs tomorrow it is a full moon super moon one of two super moons that are happening this August of 2023 and it is known as the sturgeon moon which is a fish a very interesting fish if you want to look it up but this is the moon that we are approaching tomorrow you might be feeling it if you're energy sensitive like myself but the energies are extremely powerful <laughs> and it's really really important for manifestation so if you want to do a manifestation meditation this is the time also there are a couple of retrogrades happening i believe pluto as well as venus and i'm not an astrologer nor do i get into this stuff but had <laughs> had patterns not resurfaced for me and events from my past not come up for me i would not be mentioning this at all i would just proceed with the card reading but be aware this card reading is about what patterns or shadows that you might behavioral patterns Shadows might i add that you might want to pay attention to right now they might rear their ugly heads or what event from your past might resurface for you right now around the super moon and that is the card reading that i'm doing today hopefully focusing on patterns behaviors ways of being ways of thinking that you might want to pay attention to right now if you're trying to manifest something in your life or someone in your life so to begin or guide you into the card readings I am using this deck let's start by taking three deep breaths in and out together breathe in hold and breathe out Breathe in, hold, and breathe out. Breathe in, hold, and breathe out. I'm going to start shuffling the cards and see what cards are going to help guide you into the three groups that will disclose to you a pattern or a way of being or a way of thinking that might resurface or it might have already resurfaced in your life around this current super moon energy, the sturgeon moon. Can I get three cards for group one, two, and three, please, to help guide them with some behavioral modification to help them manifest the life that they desire? Three cards, please. Group one. Three cards, please. Okay first card I guess I need my glasses sorry 
my very progressive I call these my progressive glasses all right number 47 sacred reverence I think this came up in my patreon this is a very interesting card but yeah number 47 if you're attracted to the image or the number or the words or this card in general the energy that is emitted from it then this is your card group number one yeah that came out uh it came out for okay all right it came out in my patreon shining through number 30 or number three depending on how you look at it very much root root maybe a little bit of sacral chakra coming through here so if you want to do some root and sacral chakra clearing or meditation this super moon this is your guidance so yeah shining through this is you group number two Mm. all right let's get one more card <coughs> excuse me <coughs> yeah fun times being sick summer flus okay let's see what we got for you group number three the power of purpose if you are at all drawn to the number 18 or the number 9 to the image that's on this card or to the phrase the power of purpose this is for you group number three let's hold them up together which i don't always do i think i forgot to do this a few times but group number one in the middle is group number two and this is group number three. As always, you're going to find timestamps in the description. And if you find yourself drawn to more than one card, especially right now with the energies being this heightened, you might want to check out whatever piles or groups you find yourself drawn to when this is a good time to practice your intuition and following your intuition and, let and letting your intuition guide you. So if your intuition is guiding you to all three cards, then guess what? You're going to check out all three cards. This is a process that does not require thought. All right, guys, check the description for timestamps for your groups, and I will be seeing you there hello group number one if you chose this card sacred reverence welcome to your reading and i just had a massive sneezing fit so i might sound even more nasal <laughs> than i was at the beginning of the video so bear with me here i really really feel like this is an important uh, card reading so we're using this card deck for your reading let's see guidance for group number one please regarding patterns or ways of being that might resurface for them during this supermoon in august what patterns might they need to work on to help clear any blockages and manifest you got I need my glasses my vision gets even worse when I'm sick the ten of pentacles group number one by the way one of the retrogrades I believe Venus that's happening and I'm no expert but this is just from watching different <laughs> spiritual uh, channels and from what I've been experiencing is old relationships might resurface people from the past suddenly call you <laughs> you get an invite <laughs> to somewhere but also money 
money issues might resolve or you might be guided to resolve them. So Ten of Pentacles, that's your first card. Nice card. Nice card there. Can I get more cards, please, for group number one regarding patterns, ways of being, or ways of thinking that they might need? Queen of Pentacles. Clearly your thing is money. <laughs> group number one, we'll see. Can I get more cards, please? Abundance headed your way is what I would say. That rhymed. Okay, one more. The tower. Let's get one more. I, I would like one more for you, group number one. Wow. Everything is pentacles for you. Three of pentacles. But this also flipped over and it's the six of cups. What does all this mean? Group number one. Let's take a look. What an interesting set of cards. And the way I would like to read them for you is by starting with this card which is adorable and it actually fits quite well <laughs> given the energies and what, what I talked about what I talked about in the beginning of this reading the current energies and this moon as well as the retrogrades that we are going through might bring up things from your past, good or bad. It doesn't have to be negative. It can be something very delightful and, and pleasant um, to the point that you might actually encounter people from your past, be it loved ones, uh, relationships, or just family members, or just random people, co-workers. But the image here or the energy in this card is of a, um, a person who is very delightfully uh, reminiscing uh, over pictures from the past. They are sitting very comfortably. They are, they are remembering pleasant things that happened in the past, looking at photos probably of loved ones or perhaps of themselves and those that they love when they were younger. But yet it also is happening in the present moment sort of rekindling a lovely time or a lovely spirit. It really is a very nice energy and I wonder if you're being guided right now to sit down and have a moment and think about people, especially if these people are reaching out to you right now instead of wondering why and getting suspicious or being shocked remember the good times that you had with these people and bring that energy to the present moment there might be healing that needs to happen in this relationship or in this past event that is extending itself through time through time to reach to you in this present moment so that's the guidance from this energy right here i wonder if you find yourself being approached by people from your past and you're trying to avoid it because of perhaps how the situation ended uh, so maybe don't look at just the end of the situation but also at the pleasantries and the good times that you had and put things, put grievances aside and allow yourself to reconnect in the here and now. Not necessarily give people a second chance, but there might be a resolution that wants to reach to you now. There might be clarity that will come to you now uh, by remembering the good times and accepting 
the hand that is reaching out to you, especially if it is in peace and in love. So that's the guidance from that um, card. Now, this might lead you to have a bit of a tower moment. And a tower moment is where you have to pause a little bit right now and think or reassess and allow things to not, not allow the universe to kind of have its way with you and, and stop the resistance. Uh, there might be something that is flawed that is currently in your life. You might be holding on to it or them that is going to expose itself. And as that happens, that might need to fall away. That aspect of your life might need to fall away, allowing something better to come in and replace it. So not sure, but I want to say this has a little bit to do with this. If you find yourself being pulled into something that happened in the past, go there. <laughs> Don't avoid it. Go there. It's going to lead you to a significant aha moment, a light bulb that might get you to make changes to your current situation or to current ways you are approaching things in your life. And that will pave the road for something that you really truly have been wanting and desiring for a while and that's the tower moment that is approaching you once you do that that clarity which is going to lead to these two things <laughs> a lot of abundance uh, abundance financially in this material realm but once you get over this tower moment which is an energy that is coming to you from the past that you might be trying to block. The guidance here is to allow it through and reassess it without judgment, w without, without that, that, that lens that you are carrying from the event that happened in the past. Drop that lens and look at it from a different perspective, perhaps listen to other perspectives and the tower moment is going to lead you to not only you acknowledging your self-worth it's going to lead you to people around you acknowledging your self-worth people around you suddenly seeing you and telling you that they see you and that you are very important to this 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 that 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 especially if you're involved in a project and you're kind of feeling unmotivated or that your input isn't important. You're going to have a situation where people are going to come to you and tell you that without you, <laughs> this project cannot proceed. So I wonder if it has to do a little bit with self-worth for you, but you know your self-worth out of the event that is reaching to you from the past that aha moment is going to give you your self-worth and you're going to have to apply that self-worth not only onto yourself but demand people around you and command the situation that you are in to see your self-worth because you're important you're very important especially if there is a project like i said that you're involved in Without you, this project cannot be completed. I'm not telling you go threaten people and become egoic and all of that. No, but become confident. Become more confident in yourself, which is you're doing here. So you're, you're going down this path. Uh, and I'm just guiding you. And I hope this makes sense. But you're going to not only apply your self-worth, people around you are going to be fascinated with you and you're you're going to perhaps even get a raise uh, or a different position that suits you better for your qualifications and for your importance and your contributions and when that happens guess what abundance ten of pentacles abundance material wealth 
happiness, joy, companionship, love, everything people want in this material realm. This concludes a cycle of possibly self-doubt and you holding yourself back from your, the abundance, um, especially if it's financial, that you have been desiring and wanting. And the Queen of Pentacles is holding on to the pentacle knowing, knowing uh, her words. Don't focus on gender. This is more of energy, but you're holding a pentacle and you know, you know that you are worthy of this pentacle and you no longer doubt yourself anymore. You know your place and you get it. You get what you want. There's confidence here, not arrogance. Confidence, wealth, you're sure of yourself, you're grounded, you're happy, you're stable, serene, confidence, knowing your self-worth is going to lead you to the abundance that you desire in this material realm. But first, you need to deal with whatever is going to resurface from the past towards you around this supermoon. Don't block it off. Don't judge it. Allow it into your life. Allow different perspectives to come through. Assess it. Get that light bulb moment and embrace your self-worth and be confident now let's get to your uh the oracle card that got you here sacred reverence reverence is an act of deep witnessing respect and awe you experience it when you perceive every being and everything every plant rock and tree as sacred and alive you naturally lean into a state of bliss and harmony and a profound sense of well-being. Whatever your dilemma or question, try to reframe your perspective to acknowledge the spiritual. If everything has value, including your most frustrating challenges, would you still ask your question from the same place? Can you regard the other as sacred, thereby erasing the separation between you Embracing the perfection of how you came together is real magic, and you are tapping into this unity right now. No matter who or what is in front of you, see that person or thing as luminous and your interaction as holy, then you will know what to do for the highest good of all. And I can't help but think of this card something something it might have hurt you i don't know or it might have good memories or you might i don't know whatever this thing is that's coming in from the past that's the key to your healing right now okay and the guidance is to view especially if it's people view them from a place of honoring that in them that is the same in you all right that's it. That's your message, group number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if any of this resonates. Thank you so much for being here. And you will find my Patreon attached at the end of this video as well as in the description. Hello. If you chose this card, welcome to your reading. I believe this is group number two and I messed up because I kept calling group number three group number two. We'll see. I'll try to edit <laughs> the videos and fix it, but I might, might not be able to. So I'm sorry <laughs> for group number three. I kept calling you group number two. Okay. Let's read the Oracle card that got you here at the end. But for now, let's get some guidance regarding what group number two needs to work on or resolve with regards to behavior or ways of thinking 
or ways of being, two of swords. Okay. Hmm. Can I get more guidance for group number two? Wow. All right. Four of swords. Your theme seems to be swords. Can I get more cards, please? Further guidance for you, group number two, regarding judgment. That's a major arcana card. Mm hmm. One last card for clarity. Yeah, you're definitely all about swords. Knight of Swords. I just saw 0202 and I wonder if you're seeing twos. <laughs> Let's see what all this means. Group number two. It's funny. Group number two seeing twos. Let's start your reading with the two of swords. The two, actually your reading is is fascinating. I find it quite fascinating and it's um, almost like you're about to discover yourself. But are you right now, or maybe you might be soon, facing a choice? That choice is going to be very difficult for you. you you're going to find yourself almost like at an impasse. And the guidance here and the energy here is for you to follow your intuition with regards to any decision making coming or heading heading your way right now the card shows a figure that is the, the eyes are kind of like blindfolded and the there's a choice that needs to be made between two swords or two actions that you're going to find yourself needing to make. Should I do this or should I do that? And it's not that you won't be able to make that decision. You probably are used to making decisions using your critical mind. But this time around, you're being asked to approach the situation differently by possibly not engaging too much intellectual thought or reasoning but rather following your gut in instinct, especially if you're a person in the past who has made decisions against your gut and maybe suffered the consequences or suffered the price. The other thing that is here is this card, which is judgment. I actually would like to read judgment and the four of swords together. Judgment to me signifies, th this card sort of, if you can see like skeletons rising from the dead and there's an angel in the background playing like doo doo doo, like uh, calling them for judgment. So I don't know if it has to do with the situation that you currently find yourself in or the decision that you have to make that you feel like you're going to be judged and you fear uh, that outcome. But it, the guidance is to take a bit of a step back. Uh, step back a little bit. Don't engage limiting beliefs when making decisions. Just don't do it. <laughs> as tempting as it is, it, you, you will always pay the price. When did you ever make a decision based out of fear and were happy with it uh, or happy with the outcome of it? So you need some time right now. You need some rest. You need to take a break, especially a mental a mental break if you've been putting yourself through the ringer over whatever the situation or this decision is out of fear of judgment the only person judging you is you um, others other people's opinion about you shouldn't really matter whatever decision you make should be your decision yours alone and you shouldn't fear the outcome of making something that you feel <laughs> is right or good for you, you shouldn't fear the outcome. 
um, the only person judging you is you. So there's, this is a major arcana card here, meaning if you're able to resolve this pattern, perhaps a pattern of feeling that you're being judged by other people and making decisions based on the fact that you care about what other people think of you. I'm not telling you go hurt people and do reckless things because you don't care what people think. That's not the guidance here. The guidance here is you know what is best for you. And believe it or not, people don't care about you achieving something good. People usually just care about themselves. So I'm not telling you be selfish, but know that it is only you who will judge you. And it is only you that matters in the end. People will come and go out of your life. Take a step back, reassess the situation, raise awareness on your methods of being, your methods of thinking, especially limiting beliefs that have guided you to make decisions that perhaps were no good in the past, or you thought that you were being judged, or in fact, it was only you judging yourself. So sometime, maybe take a break, take a vacation, take time off, travel, and allow, allow the universe to guide you. Allow your intuition to guide you. The solution will come to you. You don't have to sit down and, and, and overthink this at all. Uh, especially if it's a decision that you're finding hard to make. Give yourself that much needed mental break and heal. Heal whatever trauma that causes you to fear other people's opinion of you. Were you disciplined, uh, you know, heavily as a child? Were you shamed? Were you judged? Did you suffer consequences for doing things that you felt were right for you? And as such, you now deny yourself. And after you do this, after you take this break and heal this pattern, which is a major life changing thing to do, because this is a major arcana card, a new you will be born. And this new you will, this is basically, this is the Knight of Swords, determined, doesn't care, goes after what it is they want, goes after what it is they, they feel is best for them. No guilt no shame, no fear, no hesitation, you will just go and you will achieve magnificent things. You will achieve goals that perhaps you thought you could not achieve in the past, but you have to heal this limiting belief. You have to let it go. And as soon as you let this go, the real you will emerge not afraid of judgment and does not judge themselves harshly and knowing that you are worthy of what it is you desire in this life and going after it i think that's it a little bit of a short reading but nothing else is coming through let's get to the card that got you here which is shining through shining through look at the colors yeah shining through yes 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 <laughs> you are being called to step into your true power and essence this is one of those times where you're required to bring everything you are all that you've learned experienced and integrated and offer it up in service to the world. When you take center stage, when you take, yeah, you put yourself first, right? When you take center stage, you will be noticed. Yes, as you shine brightly, you will naturally stand apart from others. This idea may bring up excitement and genuine pride or discomfort but this is not the time to make yourself small, to avoid the glare of the spotlight and potential punishment by others. It takes courage, but know that this is the right thing for you. It's incredible. I, I, wow, man, I'm good. I'm good. What did I just say? 
about judgment and punishing yourself and keeping holding yourself back all right you have come so far you have been in the proverbial back of the room in learning and gathering mode for so long and this important time has served its purpose you must now step into a new consciousness seizing a new opportunity to share your wisdom you will be like a lighthouse shining through the dark illuminating the way for others be careful of the voices in your head that say you can't or you don't know enough or who are you to shine the better question is who are you not to shine all you are and all you have become is by the grace of the divine now it is your duty to share your gifts i'm very happy very happy for you group number two and i hope this reading helps you but yeah you have to there's a limiting belief that you you're applying it's only you holding yourself back and you have to develop the courage to face this limiting belief which might be resurfacing right now in the form of something uh, or a choice or a decision that you have to make so be brave be courageous and you can do this and leave me a comment and let me know if any of this resonates my patreon is in the description and i hope you have a lovely super moon hello if you chose this card welcome to your reading let's put this card aside and hopefully i won't forget to read it like i did group one <laughs> all right let's shuffle some cards for you and seek guidance for what patterns or ways of being or thinking that you might need to address right now what blockages you need to clear during the super moon to help you manifest the life that you want let's get guidance please regarding behaviors or patterns that they need to assess <sighs> that they need to... oh wow you might want to check group number one just say seems everyone wants money queen of pentacles let's get more please Page of Wands. Ooh la la. Something exciting. Get more guidance, please. I can almost tell you right now what's happening between your oracle and just those two cards. But for, for fun, we'll keep getting more cards. Oh my goodness. Oh. Something very exciting. I have here. We have the Five of Wands and the Moon. Shocker. Shocker. Not. Not shocked, actually. All right. I'm going to read your uh, card that brought you here at the end. But for now, I'm going to start your reading by interpreting this card for you which is the page of wands the page of wands is all page is a young fresh energy and wands tend to represent creativity so a young fresh energy that is creative um, signifies that there might be some growth that needs to happen and that not only might there be the need to grow but that you are actually capable of this growth not only are you capable of this growth this growth is going to be inspirational not just for you but possibly for people around you it's going to lead to a creative spark to be lit within you there might be an opportunity there might be something that is going to pop up in your life if it hasn't already 
an event, someone, something, some, you know, an invite. I really don't know, but something is going to appear <laughs> in your life that is going to catch your attention if it hasn't already. And there is a reason that's happening and you need to honor that. Uh, not if you're considering walking away from it, don't. <laughs> Um, this situation, event, person, whatever it is that's appearing in your life uh, might cause old ways of thinking about yourself, old ways of being to suddenly appear and it's tempting to engage in the old ways of being. But the guidance here tells you to maybe do things a little bit different this time and it's interesting that you get the moon around a new moon which is a super moon because it's in the shadow that we do our work and it is when it gets really dark that we begin to see the light so whatever the situation is that is appearing in your life it might give rise to an old pattern of conflict um, the, 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 the pattern of conflict, I don't know if you can see this card really well, but it's five people sort of, they appear like they're fighting, but nobody's actually striking anyone. It's just everyone sort of getting ready and, and posing like with their, <laughs> with their wands, uh, holding them, but no one's actually harming anyone. So I wonder if there's an old pattern of seeking conflict although inside of you you know you don't want it uh, or or a challenging mindset or i'm going to show them way of being whereas inside of you you want peace and you need to do a little bit of shadow work or behavioral modification or raising your awareness and paying attention to the way you are thinking and follow the internal guidance that is asking you to challenge yourself and do things differently a little bit this time. Perhaps not challenge people, perhaps not engage in conflict, even if conflict is trying to engage you. If this has been a pattern, it's been a pattern for me, I know that I've been a very conflict oriented type of personality and I find conflict even when it where it doesn't exist so maybe perhaps drop your wand <laughs> and seek resolution and say you know what I'm gonna do things differently this time I'm actually gonna see the good in everything this time now don't be a doormat and and don't let people fool you uh, but that's the shadow work that you need to do that's the that's the raising awareness that will help you decipher the situation without the need to engage ego too much. If you're a person who tends to go about their ways in life by engaging ego or ego is leading you, do your internal healing and put that ego a little bit to rest and see the good and be the good in this situation that is appearing or will appear or has appeared in your life. The guidance is to approach this situation, whatever it is, or this person different than what you would normally do. And only you know what that is. Whatever it is you were doing in the past wasn't working. Time to approach things differently. But you have to sit down with yourself, especially if the situation is triggering something in you. And maybe journal, maybe, like I said, look into it, but not by thinking. Don't engage your mind, by ra but rather by reflecting. Okay, in the past, when the situation or similar situations like it would come up, I would always do this. This time, I have this feeling that I need to do things differently. Perhaps I'll do it this way. And that's the, um, that's the sort of behavioral modification that, is being, that you're being urged to engage in 
in this card, which is the moon. And to me, it's uh, going to happen, the way I see it, it's going to happen around this super moon. And once you do all that, guess what the end result is going to be for you? You're going to be very confident and you're going to be very centered in yourself. You're going to know who you are and what works for you. And that will lead you to knowing your self-worth and holding the abundance that is yours, rightfully yours, and you know that it is yours with confidence. You're going to become abundant. Whatever it is you're going to manifest is coming your way. Just know that you deserve it. Just know that it is also seeking you the same way you are seeking it. No more self-doubt, more centered self-confidence, less ego, more groundedness. Very similar to the message, uh, not, not the same, but similar to the message for group number one. So once again, if you were at all drawn to group number one, I would urge you to go check that pile out. Now, to the card that got you here. There comes a time when you realize that you are destined for something that is yours and yours alone. The catalyst might be an experience with a special person, a path you chose, or something you feel called to do. You'll discover it's not necessarily what you thought it would be and has nothing to do with what everyone else wants or seems to want. Isn't that interesting? Didn't we talk about the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands? An uncanny conviction takes hold from somewhere deep and true. You feel a sense of power arising from a true sense of self, accompanied by a need for action, a commitment to explore something or a purposeful choice. Right now, you're invited to step into new empowered sense of authentic purpose, bolstered by a healthy dose of self-esteem. You're called to release your old conditioning. What were we just talking about? There is no need to be self-conscious or act a certain way to please others, which can sometimes take you in a direction you don't want to go anyway. The discipline and and will to evolve are yours by nature. You cannot fail if you immerse yourself fully in what is in front of you now. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. You never have to seek your purpose or wonder what it is. Just keep removing the blocks to your essential self and your purpose will find you. It's that easy. So keep doing your internal healing, energy work. Keep paying attention to whatever patterns are arising for you, especially right now. And clear, clear, clear. Say, I'm going to do things different this time because I want a different outcome. All right, there's my lecture to you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Uh, please let me know in the comments. People never comment. And I'm going to be attaching my Patreon at the end as well as in the description. Thank you for watching.